Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So, when last we left off, we were over at Joy's, and we just flipped it to the Magistry of Canopus. So we are now at Grimari, and we're going to attempt to do the same thing here. So we refitted our Medium Lance, and they are still in the process of being repaired here. So we're going to need to get some funds before the end of the month, and I've got a mission in mind for that. But in the process, um, sort of in the... Between, between episodes, I've been working on trying to get enough pilots for our third lance. We found yes, one commander. relatively cheap pilot, 16000 a month right now, Odin. So she is going to be one of the pilots in our next lance. But I've also found somebody great here in the hiring hall that I think I'm going to hire. Um, this guy, Puffin. And, you know, the name, eh, I can deal with it, but... Um, He's 23400 a month, and he has advanced skills already. So this guy's going to end up being either a melee or primary, probably a scout mech for us. Um, but he's got improved repair times, um, minor increase in XP, reduced maintenance cost for the pilot, uh, pirate pilot. Um, he pirates uh, dropships and stuff. Um, and he's familiar with jump ship capabilities. He knows pirate points, which is great. Uh, chance to steal from the company but you know we can deal with that i think the other two pirates we have haven't stolen anything yet so we're probably okay spacer reduces another reduce set of reduced maintenance costs and um yeah so this guy actually is looking pretty good he's also got tinker too so he can help out with repairing stuff so we're gonna hire this guy at 23 4 a month i don't think we can go wrong at this point so we're just gonna hire him he's 80 grand gonna accept that so now we've got two pilots already for our next uh missions and the only reason why I'm not going to purchase these two here is Scratchy and Scruffy just sound too much like Itchy and Scratchy <laughs> cartoon people. So, I mean, this guy is the right price, but uh, the handlebar mustaches, we've already got a guy with handlebar mustaches and stuff. So I'm trying to find someone a little bit more unique than this. So that's the only reason. Why. He's got the right price, though, but we're not going to hire this guy. So let's go to the command center and have a look at our contracts. So in this particular system, there's a lot of Free Worlds League contracts. There's a uh, Magistry of Canopus co contract here, um, moving against the planetary government, which we don't really want. Another one down here, moving against the planetary government. Well, we found this one here, Burden of Proof. Planetary government moving against the Free Worlds League, and it is an ambush convoy mission. So I think we're going to take this one, just going to go in and blow everything up. So let's just negotiate this. We're going to split it right down the center, go two of eight, and take the cash. Uh, I don't, I'm not expecting that we're going to be able to get enough salvage that's going to be able to uh, give us at least this much. So I'm just going to go this route. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to take our main lance down and get this done. Alright, here we go. I haven't played this map for a while. Alright, four mechs on the ground. we got to get up here. Get ahead of this combo. Hopefully they're not fast. Because we are certainly not fast. We uh, just going to reserve. And we're going to try and max out our speed, get our speed guys in front here. All right, let's move. So while we're moving up, I just want to talk about a little bit about the next few episodes. What I'm thinking about doing is trying to get our third lance up and running. Now that we have our main lance is up and running, um, and we're doing well with this group, we have our medium lance that's just been refitted. I want to get that back into play as soon as possible so we can start generating some cash. Those, once we're generating the cash again, um, I definitely want to get the third pirate lance up and running. It's been a while since I've done a uh, pirate lance episode. So I do want to get the third lance up and running, the light lance, and we'll get that going. And then we'll worry about the assault lance after that. But I noticed in the last episode refitting the medium lance, I, I overlooked a couple of things. I said I was going to use the clan endo steel in the Black Knight, which I think I ended up using in the Kentaro. And while we were outfitting the Hunchback, I left in some SRM ammo in the leg. It looked like I noticed it when we were when I was editing the episode. So um, I'm going to have to go back and readjust some of those before they actually end up in combat. Um, see if we can make the lance a little bit more. Um, Efficient. I mean, they're pretty efficient as it is right now, but if we can squeeze a little bit more efficiency out of them, that'll be great. So that's kind of my goal. Maybe the end of this episode, we'll try and refit those those mechs, and then um, over the next few episodes, once the medium lance gets up and running again, I'll run hard missions with this lance, and then the medium lance will be running um, 
money to or missions to uh, collect sea bills. Okay, so we still haven't spotted anything yet. Looks like they got some heavy vehicles or heavy mechs. Hmm. Let's reserve the main guy. Ready to rock. Okay, let's get height up here. See if you can spot anybody. Yeah, here we go. Our target is within sensor range. Thanks, Darius. Okay, so it's all vehicles, pretty much. I'm sure there's a mech in there somewhere. They're moving pretty slow, so I think... I was going to try and step out in the road in front of them, but I'm thinking we're going to go on the top of the hill here. I think we got enough time and speed to do that. I'm ready. Understood. Moving fast. All right. Looks like it's all vehicles. That's okay, buddy. They don't got LRMs, you don't got to worry about it. So I've been slowly ranking up my... Look at that. Another vehicle. Okay. Eight vehicles. Let them sensor lock you. They don't look, look, doesn't look like they got any LRMs. There's a 95 tonner. Except for maybe that guy. Thunderbolt launcher? No. Please, no head hits. So I've been ranking up my mech warriors between episodes. And their skills are getting pretty balanced overall. Uh, still nothing beyond 8. Both Vein Skater and um, Ground Zero now have plus 2 health. I'm working on getting the rest of them up to that same point. That last mission that we played where we all took head hits and stuff. I want to try and make it so that I don't have to worry about that so much. If we take a head hit and lose a torso and then fall, I still want to be able to have more than just one uh, hit point left. Yeah, I hear you. Guys are angry. I get it. Hate the fact that they're all clumped, though. Can we get eyes on? We cannot. Let's make sure we stay in the forest, then. Lots of evasion. Comes a 65T. Lot damage holding firm. Now I'm wondering if I should take the catapult and sprint around this way. He's mostly direct fire. I'm thinking probably let's do that. We'll get some more evasion this way as well. So we got lots of evasion, so if they do sensor lock him, it'll be a little better off. Now yep. Flatliner's mostly direct fire, so let's get him up on the hill. Roger that. And I think Ground Zero will be up on the hill as well, once they move. Up in sensor lock. I can see that. So I'm not really happy with the Orion's speed, but overall the damage is awesome on him. Got a lock on me. Wow. Definitely need to end our turn in the uh, forest. We need to kill that 95 tonner as fast as we can, too. What's this guy? Vargir LRM? Try aiming next time. See what you get. Okay, let's reserve him. So it looks like they're low on armor, too. All right. I await your Let's get the 70 tonner up here first. On the way. Double time. Let's have a look down and see what we got down here. So this is our... Nine, is this the 95 or is this 65? What is that? 95 ton. 
So let's punish this guy first. Lots of missiles, two LRM-20s, patent heavy tank. I think we can take this guy out probably if we get, oh, that's a lot of armor. Let's try and take this guy. Actually, we don't have direct line of sight. We do on this guy though. One LRM-20 with no armor. Uh, what do we do here? Let's take out for sure a target then. Oh, come on. You missed one of the PPCs, really? Come on, come on. Ah. Make me target him again, are you? I want to make sure that they can see the maximum number of mechs to divide up the fire. I don't want them concentrating fire on any one mech. Ready for so let's bring Vanskater around. Uh, I want to minimize who can see me. But I also want to maximize my move. So we're going to move over here. We're going to walk it just so we get our stability back. Just in case they decide to target us. And let's see, we got a pretty good chance there. Actually, excellent chance here. But what's the frontal armor like? 204. And this guy's got a lot more. 220 on the side. 216 on the front. Why is it more on the side than on the front? But this guy doesn't really AC 10. Uh, how's this guy making out here? 38, 13. We might get lucky and hit the side. So let's do a multi-target. I'm going to fire on the 95 tonner and this guy. A's and then B's. And let's see what we get here. Firing on. Primary target is damage, Commander. So four hits. How can you miss with those? Both of them. Really? Reporting negative damage. I would say I'm going to put another Ultra AC in there. He hits so well with those. They got a sensor lock on me. Alright. Uh, what do we got weight-wise here? This guy's got like no armor. We could just step on him. 138, that should kill him. But if we split our fire... That's a really good chance to hit. And that's pretty good. Let's do this. I, I know I shouldn't probably do this. But I'm going to do a multi-target. I can't do multi-target with this guy. Crap, I forgot all about that. Oh well, we're firing everything on him. Yeah, make sure you split that up as much as possible, bud. Thanks for that. Damn it, I should have stepped on him. I knew it. Okay, we got missiles for our, of our own coming up here soon. Okay, so ground zero. Let's get to a point where we can shoot as many guys as possible. Let's go here. Understood. Moving and here's what I want to do. I'm going to split fire. I'm going to go A, B, and then since we fired on this guy, C, LRMs to C, A and B each get a PPC. Let's do this. One down. Dude, did I not? Oh, shoot. Did I? Oh, crap. That was really dumb. I was thinking that the LRMs, because it was indirect, would automatically go here. But, obviously not the case. Well, at least that guy didn't move very far. We should be able to punish him next turn. Losing lots of armor. I hear ya. At least he's splitting us fire. Oh, Demolisher. R30? What does he have? Iraq 5? Two rack fives? Come on. Barely a hit, Commander. Two rack fives, two LRM fives, and why does it say the armor is only twenty-one at the front? 
can't be 21 at the front. Why is it only 21 at the front? Okay, Puma's been severely hit. It's only 21 at the front. All right, well, let's figure out what we're doing here. Let's just walk it forward. And I'm going to multi-target on this guy. So let's do A, B, and C. A is going to take this LRM. B is taking the two PPCs. And C is taking the two clan LRMs. Let's start this right. Not enough. Okay, it's a good start. Okay, so I guess we hit the front enough with that one. Okay. So this side's almost toast. And then this guy, it was the side in front that got hit. So let's move in Van Skater here. Roger. And we're going to shoot straight on this guy with everything. There we go. Solid connection. I'm liking that. I'm definitely liking the Ultra 10s on this thing. Definitely best, better than our la last loadout. I've been sensor locked. I'll let him sensor lock you. As long as he's not shooting. Okay, so... The Bulldog is okay armor. Puma has sustained some damage. So let's move you down here. Get rid of some stability. And we're going to do a multi-target on the Puma and this guy. The Puma is going to take... One of the PPCs and the medium and small, and B will take one PPC in the LRM 20s. So let's go this route. Firing on multiple enemies. Just want to make sure we have enough to kill that one first guy. Yeah, it was, it was a good thing we applied the two lasers. That might have enough to do it. No, not quite. So how are we doing on this bulldog here? Yeah, he's severely crippled. So Height should be able to finish him up. So, actually, we don't have to worry about finishing him up. We're going to step on this guy. Because we'll be moving before him next turn. Okay, Tiger. You and me. Nice. Insult to injury. Reporting. One less vehicle. You got that right. I thought we'd be going before him. I guess that's the, their last heavy vehicle. Distance holding. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, Commander. We don't need to move very far for this guy. Let's make sure we get the kill. Firing on target. That was a little overkill, but, you know, if you want to shoot at me, that's what you get. All right, now we just got to get this last guy here. So let's do uh, sprint down just to see the guy. Doesn't look like there's going to be reinforcements on this mission. Marsden, fire everything. Roger that. Let's see if we got enough. Yep, enough juice. There we go. Should have gone all cash on this one. All right, so 700,000 straight out. Let's see what our repairs are going to be. It's probably going to be close to like 80 or so, I would I would imagine. Taking a few heavy hits here. So let's have a look at what we want. This flamer is actually kind of nice. I'm actually looking for stuff for our light lance as well. I'm just going to drop that in for now. I don't think we'll end up using it, although this these bonus medium lasers are actually really nice too, right? Evasion ignore LRM triple plus for that's actually nice too. It's better than the flame, that's for sure. 
Uh, LRM5, no. Machine Gun Heavy Array. Damage 10 times 12? 10 damage times 12. For 3 tons. Are you serious? Damage fall off. Max range. Is that, is that 220? Looks like it's 220 maximum range. So you'd have to be really close for this thing to do a lot of damage. 25 heat though. ERPPC is a possibility. We got lots of streak 2 still. SRM 4. That's kind of nice. We've got the streak 6s already. Defense gyro. AMS system. Artemis system. AMS is not bad. Anything else down here we want? I don't think so. Machine gun ammo. SRM ammo. So it's really deciding now. That's worth a million. I'm thinking maybe we go this route. Oh, this is kind of a nice weapon though. Like, you gotta be close, but 10 damage times 12. You put that in a fast mech. Like, I'm thinking back now, what do we have? We got a Butcher, which I think has got one Ballistic Hard Point. We have the Fire Starter, which I don't think has any. We've got the Panther 9L, and I can't, I don't think that has one. And I know the Spider doesn't have one. So I don't think there's really a use for this. Although it's a really, really nice weapon. Consists of three heavy machine guns. You know what? We got an Artemis already. Let's take this uh, heavy machine gun. I'm taking the LRM-20 in case we lose our, our current one that we have. These are hard to find relatively, so I'm going to take that one. All right, let's go this route, see what we get. So we did get the Flamer, excellent, and not much else. So that's fine. Ooh, Metri Can Cannabis took Krimari from the Free Worlds League. I was kind of hoping that was going to happen. That's awesome. So that's flipping two worlds now. So 69,000 in repairs, which isn't too bad, which means we made about 630,000, which is pretty good. We're over a million now. That's awesome. Well, almost over a million. Okay, so let's just manage our tasks here a bit because I want to go and look at the Hunchback and the Kintaro, which is 12 days. I don't know if we're going to have enough time before the end of the month. And the Black Knight is still a long way away, so let's drop him down. Um, but I definitely want to have a look at these two. So let's get these guys repaired. Okay, so that's the Hunchback back. So let's have a look at the bays. I've been thinking about what I might do with the Hunchback. So he's got the thing on him here. So that just means he's got ammo in the, in the leg that he can't use. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's pull out this ammo for a second. So let's look at what we got here. Um, heat efficiency is actually not too bad. We're doing pretty good overall. So I'm wondering if we want to spice up this build a little bit more. We've got one ton. If I pull out a heat sink, that's two tons. If we go to our missile systems here. Oops, here we go. Missile systems. And we go down, and I keep saying that this clan LRM5 is useless. Right? But at one ton... We drop it in here, right, and then we go up and get our LRM dead fire ammo and drop it in. Let's just swap the legs, swap it around leg to a different leg here. Um, I want to put it on this side because I'm protecting this side primarily. That's going to give us five missiles times eight damage. Eight damage is 40, 40 damage. I know our heat is dropping a little bit. Um, we're not going to be firing this all that much. And we can rotate this between here and the medium laser. Right? So I'm thinking that's probably the way I want to go with this build. I mean, this is actually, you know, max 690. It's, I think that's with the dead fire ammo in it. 
or it might be half of that, I can't remember. But still, that's like good range. It's going to be within auto cannon 20 range. So that's like 40 damage if we hit with everything in the, in the mechs in the open, right? Or oh, sorry, it won't be. Because the damage is going to be 6 times 5 is 30. But still, that's pretty good. So we're going to go this route, I think. And see how that works out. It's only one day. Okay, so our main mechs, Orion's going to be back in 12 days, Kentaro in 10. If we manage this, if we move the Kentaro, we got it up at the top right now. If we move this to after the Orion, it won't, uh, we're going to get it back before the end of the month. We're not really anyway, but at least this way our main lance will be back and we'll be able to pull off another mission and get some more cash before the end of the month so we can actually start doing other stuff like bringing forward some other mechs and stuff so yeah let's do that so we got the uh, hunchback fixed up which is good um, we'll get our main lance back here and then I'll call it for today Ooh, almost uh, and next time when we come back we'll pull off another mission I think probably if we go to the contracts here we might be able to pull off this uh, five skull mission the heavy lure um, for the Magistrate of Canopus. It's against the local government, which is fine, uh, because we can because now that these guys control the planet, um, that's okay. I didn't want to go against the local government if if it meant that this was going to uh, affect the outcome of of uh, what was going on with House Merrick. I didn't want. I wanted to be moving against House Merrick first um, to destabilize them and hopefully get them off the planet. So let's have a look at the Argo real quick. So we're going to end the episode here. We've got enough money to handle our next financial report. We're almost at 7,500 uh, C-bills. It's going to be going up, uh, obviously, once we get our next lands up and running. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting times coming up. We're going to have to generate some more cash to get our third mech bay up and running. Um, and then we'll be able to start getting our light lands and our um, assault lands up and, wor up and working. But until that time, if you liked the video, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And until next time, I'll see you later.